a scary piece of video showing a utility box as it fell from an MBTA station hitting a commuter. Now we've learned that piece of equipment was supposed to remo be removed a decade ago. So what happens now? WBZ's Anna Myler is at the Harvard station with answers. T officials say there are 13 boxes like this at three different stations, and the new MBTA general manager has instructed crews to take them all down. This video shows the scary moment a 200 pound box came crashing down inside the Harvard Square T station, hitting a commuter. She was taken to the hospital as a precaution. T officials say the straps that secured the box to the column were corroded, causing it to fall. And look at this place. It's falling apart. It's been falling apart. I've been doing this commute for about 10 years now. And there's been no improvement in the status of this station. It's just been a constant decline. The box was installed as part of a pilot program led by MIT and the Department of Homeland Security. They contain sensors designed to detect a biological attack. But the boxes haven't been used since that program ended 10 years ago. That's ridiculous that that could even happen. You would think that they would have more upkeep on the train, like the system, considering that people use it every day. Doesn't make me feel particularly confident about um, being here or, or that my safety is a priority or that my taxpayer dollars are going to uh, making this a place that people are able to be safe. Corrosion is also to blame for a ceiling tile falling at this station two months ago, just barely missing a rider. Many commuters say they are worried about their safety, but have no other way to get to school or work. This is really the only option. I'm a student. I can't pay for parking in Seaport, which is where I'm headed. Um, so it's it's the T or, or somehow I walk to Seaport. So um, I'm going to choose the T and, and cross my fingers that I'm not the next news story. So these boxes were installed here at Harvard Square and at Porter and Davis stations. After the incident, they were all inspected and the MBTA general manager says they will all be taken down. Reporting in Cambridge, Anna Myler, WBZ News.